Hi y'all, it's Pegasus and I have an important update message. I just made a post about it in my community section, but this deserves a video so that I can push it out to all my subscribers. I want to talk about 17 and 71 and uh, nothing can stop what's coming and, and Judgment Day. <laughs> like, yeah, we're in the apocalypse, so welcome to the apocalypse. I hope you've been enjoying it and not suffering any really bad karma, which brings in the unaliving weekend that I've heard tell of, and I believe it's not necessarily all over a weekend because I think that's already started, but it may in fact get worse. Um, I believe we're a week away today from Judgment Day, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> so I've been hearing from the tarot readers. Many of you know I've been following a bunch of tarot readers for like the last six months or so, maybe a little longer, because there's been a lot of mystery in my life, and I've been trying to solve this mystery for a while now. And I've gotten a lot of insight from some of the tarot readers, and a lot of them are bunk. <laughs> so I watch some of them for a little while, and I'll go, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> but there are still a few that I do watch, and I like the smaller channels because they're, you know, doing readings for a smaller group of people. It's more likely to be more accurate as far as my personal situation, right? So in case you're into tarot readings, that's my recommendation is find a small channel that you like right? So I've been hearing about this fated event and I, I've been hearing about it for so long now that I started calling it the fated event. Like it's faded away. Like uh, I'm started like what faded event already, you know, come on. What is this stinking faded event? I think it's faded. <laughs> Not actually going to happen, right? Well, hmm, I'm still hearing about it. And a lot of these tarot readers, because I've watched so many videos. A lot of them don't recognize that when you pull like a bunch of Leo or uh, the strength card or the sun card, it's, it's tricky. You have to be very discerning. And I think a lot of times it's referring to like ultimate justice, like God or Jesus, you know, like the ultimate justice guy. Think not that I come bringing peace, but a sword, right? The sword of justice. So I started being alert to this, and when the tarot readers seem confused, you know, and they're like, what is this Leo that keeps popping up for, you know, I start to clue in, okay, this is, this is not just a guy on the street who happens to be a Leo, right? We're talking about Leo the lion. <laughs> okay, so back to 17 and 71. In tarot, 17 is the star card, and the star is Aquarius. I am Aquarius rising, right? So I watch a lot of Aquarius. Um, I find that it's, uh, it comports better with my life, like who I am, uh, the, being truthy and sorty myself and shining the star light on things to illuminate the truth, right? I've talked about Pegasus and I was finally able to change the name of my channel um, to Pegasus. So I lost track of my thought there, but uh, I added 17 and 71. I was born in 1971, Aquarius rising, the star number 17 in the tarot. Okay, that's where I was, I, I got lost. So one week from today is July 1st, 7-1, or if you're in other places in the world, 1-7, right? 7-1-1-7. <clears throat> this year, because it is also a leap year, 7-1 is day 183 with 183 days remaining. Now this 3883 number has been popping up like crazy for the last six months or so and seeing it everywhere. And I've started seeing a lot of 17s and 71s now as well, just everywhere, anywhere. <laughs> 1971 is the midpoint between the 1902 and the 2040 Phoenix events. 69 years on either side of 1971. 
69 is a representation of the yin and yang, right? The, the I am versus the I am AI. And I made a video about that. Hopefully I can remember to tag it at the end of this video, uh, the singularity and the yin and yang. And I believe that's all I have in my notes. So justice is the balancing of the scales, right? The karmic wheel is turning, flipping from the upside down world to the right side up world. I talked about the hourglass flipping, right? And this is the opportunity that we have to elevate ourselves to a, to a higher level of the matrix. <clears throat> I've also referred to it as coming one Russian nesting doll out in the simulation. You know, if we're every cycle around, we go in another level and in another level. I'm trying to get out, right? So ascending, dropping stuff out of your hot air balloon so that you can elevate yourself at least one level out of here, if not totally out, right? We are heading towards Jesus. Jesus is not coming here. He's not descending out of the clouds. And if you're expecting that, it's going to look more like aliens in the fall. Jesus is where he is. And I don't want to get too religious -y, right? Because I have my own thoughts about who Jesus is, and I don't necessarily want to go there with this video. But we should not expect Jesus to be descending from the clouds and returning in a second coming. No, that is no, okay? <clears throat> However, Judgment Day <laughs> is part of the apocalypse in the Bible. Jason from Archaics has talked about uh, a staged apocalypse, a fake apocalypse. So I'm very keen to a grand delusion. And we all should be, right? Don't get fooled again. Don't get fooled again. And if we are, in fact, suffering a, a, a memory glitch right now, I know a lot of us have been letting go of things that no longer serve us. But as we do that, we're also recognizing that our memories are fading. I myself have been through an exceedingly traumatic six months. I, I'm going to say it's on a par, if not worse than my prison experience. And the trauma of that is fading. My memories are fading. Um, the trauma itself affected my brain in a way that has made it very difficult for me to continue doing what I was doing. There are other factors involved as well that were my own doing to myself. And, um, and it's okay because what I'm moving forward to is really, really cool. And more along my North node, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Right? So I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay, so we've talked about, not, not necessarily me so much, but other folks have talked about the um, plasma apocalypse uh, memory wipe. You know, the, the incubator babies and the survivors with blood coming from their ears and eyes and uh, folks having very little memory of whatever event happened. What if the memory glitch happens before the event, you know? It's possible that's what's happening right now. And I speculated in a, in a video that I made, I think on Facebook, that maybe it was just flat out easier for people to make a transition from an upside down world to a right side up world, or to, to get over this, this karmic judgment. If there's a memory wipe and we need to rely more on our gut and our heart than our head. And I've talked about this also. I'm, my brain is very, very tired of all the thinking and puzzle solving and decoding. So I've had to rely more on just, I, I can't remember what I've already done. I've had to rely on just the incoming messages that I'm getting today, decoding them and putting them out and then they're gone. I, I just can't keep track of them, right? 
I'm thinking that this is what's going on right now. I don't know what it means, but if there's going to be some, like, cataclysmic worldwide event, be it natural or staged, artificial, however you want to think about it, it really doesn't matter. It's all about perception, and that's going to be different for everybody. If there's going to be such event, I would say it's very likely to happen a week from today. I've talked a year, more than a year ago now, about Coupon Monday. <laughs> Coupon Monday. Like, why were the days Monday and Wednesday left out of the song Sweet Judy Blue Eyes, right? Uh, that was, so that was like a little over a year ago, and I talked about this Coupon Monday. If there's going to be a Coupon Monday, possibly next week. Like, if there's a Judgment Day, <laughs> think about Revelation and what that means. <clears throat> it could be considered a Coupon Day. You know, I hope you understand what I'm saying there. I don't necessarily want to say the word the right way, but there was a thing in World War II called Coupon Monday. I believe it was in uh, in the UK, in Britain, where people would get their food ration stamps. Okay, so, uh, but I'm using it in another way, if you catch my drift. Okay, so again, I think this video is uh, running a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I hope that I've gotten all my points across. I really just wanted to talk about the 17, the 71, the tarot readers, uh, 183 days into the year, 183 days remaining. 1 plus 8 plus 3 is 12. So that's L, right? E-L, uh, God with a little g. Also, um, oh shoot, now I forgot. Oh, it's a scrambled up 138, right? The 183. Okay. Yes, now I think I've covered it all. Have a wonderful day, and enjoy your apocalypse, and have compassion for folks, because the people are seriously going through it right now, for real. So, I love you all. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day.